everyone. It's early morning, sun's just come up. I'm down on the Suffolk Stour again, just having a little look at this fishery that I've just joined up. Um, I'm going to fish here this afternoon because there's, there's a lot of rain coming in this morning. I didn't want to get all the camera gear soaking wet. So I'm just going to have a little look around at the swims here, decide on a swim and then have a little fish this afternoon with some bread, see if we can hook a few roach, maybe some chub, see what's about. I've not fished any of these swims. I mean, I've been fishing the Stour, I don't know, since I was 17, 18. I'm now in my 50s and I've never ever fished this stretch. It goes for a, well, a few miles. Um, it's one of those fisheries you make your own swims. There are a few cut out here though, but there's no signs of anyone ever fishing them. So I'm going to have a little wander about and, like I said, pick a swim and give it a go this afternoon. Well, this swim's never been touched. I mean, look at it. Just a nice, slow bit of pace going through there. A little tree just to the right here. I mean, if you look at the ground, just take you back a bit. No one's ever stood here. It's been cut out, probably when the season started by the club, but it's just not been touched. Let's have a little wander up to the next one. Another beautiful looking one. Can't tell me that's ever been fished. Look at that. Nobody's trodden in there. Let's have a little look. You got a lovely steady bit of pace going through there. Just like the last ones. Well, I like the look of this swim. I think this could be the one for me. You've got this narrow channel coming through and on the far bank there's a lovely bit of flow. Got a nice far bank trot there. Right the weather holds off. I mean, look at it. Beautiful little trot through it. I haven't got a clue what sort of fish are in here. It's obviously going to be chub and roach and dace, but as for the fish that feed a lot here, I don't know. I'm hoping there's going to be a few roach here, but we won't know until we try. So I think I'm going to pick this one. Hopefully there won't be anyone here, but looking at it, I don't think there will be. So I will see you this afternoon. Don't know what's in here. This is literally my first trot through. I've put loads of balls of bread into, well, say loads, I'll put about three balls of bread in to start with. Not sure what I'm going to get out of here yet. It's a new stretch for me. I'll just run that through and see if I snag on anything first. I'm fishing about three and a half feet, maybe four at a push. A little bit of wind today, but it don't seem to be affecting me too much here at the moment. Sort of sheltered by a lot of trees here. That's well, a lovely little trot through there. Seems to be pulling into the middle a bit as it goes through there rather than staying on that far bank. I think the flow is sort of where it's channeled off there, it's sort of coming through and then into the middle. So it's hard, you can see by the leaves going through where it's running. This is the first real time I've been able to get out on the stour. I don't tend to fish it much in the summer months, there's just not enough flow on it for my liking. I mean, as you all know, I like to put a float through, fish for the roach. 
there's any decent chub about as well, I'll pick them up. But this brand new stretch of river, I'll just, I mean, there's loads of swims along here, so I'm going to be spending a lot of time down here checking them all out, see what sort of fish are about. Hopefully, we might pick some decent roach up along here. I think the rain's, there we go, there's a fish straight away. Look. Chublet to start the day. I mean, it's 20, 20 to 3 now, I haven't got long, but oh, he's proper swallowed that hook. I haven't got long because I mean, it gets dark about half six now. I've got a simple rig on today, it's just a small stick float because it's not that deep here. It's quite a slow flow going through and just literally shirt button style, number eight's going down the line. Can't get any simpler really. I mean nothing can go wrong with this rig, it just falls through the water nicely. Just got a hook up around the top of the rod there. I'm using a 14 foot Drenum rod today. I like using longer rods because so much more control over them. You can keep them keep the line right off the water by holding it up. I'm not bothering to put any down the inside here because there's absolutely no flow down the inside. It's just coming through that channel and onto the far bank. So I'm just concentrating on putting a float through there all the time. And see what we can pick up. There's a fish again. Like a roach. First roach of the day. Not a monster, but a roach. Good start. Well, that's a good sign. There's a roach down there at least. There's one bite they love, and that is bread. Let's see if there's any bigger ones down there. I've got some hemp and tares with me, but I decided today I'm just going to fish the bread. You normally catch on it. Sometimes hemp and tares can take a while to get going, get the fish feeding. And I haven't got that long. It's dark at half six. Time's getting on now already. It's funny, the wind was blowing, there's not a breath of wind now. It's absolutely beautiful going through there. This is the best time of year, it's, I mean, it's the 1st of October, to, well, yes, today. This is when I really start my fishing now. I don't fish it summertime, as I've said before. There's just no flow on the river. This is the time when all the fish start to come out, the weeds died off a bit more. Not as many hiding places from in the middle of the river. A lot of them will be tucked under them far banks and near banks. There's another one. That's a quick bite. Oh, another roach. Don't mind them. Maybe a couple of pound more would be nice. Taking them big bits of bread, small mouths like that, just goes to show you. Another little ball of bread out there. I don't want to put too much out there. Just little and often. Always works for me. Well, not always, but a lot of the time it does. So 
a little chop. Gobbling that bread up. Oh, I'm using my 506, my Abu 506 again today. Love this reel, absolutely love it. It's so easy to cast out. Perfect for these little rivers. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, you get line berry on them. But if you load it out properly, use the, the right sort of line on it. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but not once have I had to help that line out. I've got it balanced just right where it doesn't bury because it can be a problem with them. But as I said, just get, get the right amount on the spool, use the right line, the right diameter line, and you'll find you won't have a problem. Well, I don't have a problem with it. You can watch all day and you'll see that I won't have to help that out at all. Even if you hook a bigger fish, it's still it's still the same, you don't have to worry about it. Easy casting, very easy. Same spot every time. Let's go deeper, just drag it along the bottom. float should slow right down as long as it doesn't catch there you go see straight away deep and right up there's a fish another roach just lift that one gently I was dragging that along the bottom, that was. Keep still fish, can't get the hook out now. Need my glasses on. There you go. Another one about the same size. So that was deepening right up that was and that got a bite so let's just keep it at that depth see what happens so I say it's best just play about your depths can often bring you a fish you could be putting it through all day at the same depth and if they're not having it You've got to do something about it, you've got to change it.
another roach. Got down a throat. A small one again. Still coming, top lip that one. Good fun, only small roach, but good fun. That's a bigger fish. No, oh, roach me. Probably just net that one. Quite lift that. I'm under a bit of weed, I think. Still not a monster, but he needed netting, I couldn't have lifted that out. A little bit bigger than the others. You can see him on the camera there. Another roach. Absolutely mint condition they are. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Try and get close up. You can see the condition of them. Absolutely immaculate. Get him back. Live to see another day. Like another roach. Probably just lift that one. Oh, it's a little chub this time. I thought that was fighting a little bit differently actually. Only got a 16 hook on them. <laughs> My fingers are just too big.
Well, I'm probably going to make that my last trot through. Maybe give it a couple more. The light's starting to go now. Hopefully you've had fun. It's been good to get out on the river, finally. So if you like the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.